yesterday uh, we looked at the word righteousness, and today we are going to be looking at a word that is very, very close to that. Uh, it, is a wor- it is the word justification, uh, or to justify. So understanding this word can give us some very exciting insight into what happens when we are born again. Uh, so what does this word justification mean? Well, uh, justification, uh, it has a couple of different meanings depending on how you're using this word. So the word justification, it is a legal term uh, and it means a sufficient or acceptable excuse or explanation made in court for an act that is otherwise unlawful. The showing of an adequate reason in court. Uh, So that's how justification is used in the court system or legally. But the word justification is also an accounting term. Um, And it means to bring back to even so you're no longer in debt. So bring back to even so you're no longer in debt. So the word justification, it means in the Bible, it means to be made righteous before God. So yesterday we looked at the word righteousness, right? Um, So the word righteousness we talked about, it means, you know, not having broken God's standard or not having broken God's law. Uh, Literally righteousness means uh, acceptable before God. And so because of our sin, we talked about yesterday, we are unacceptable before God. Uh, We are unrighteous. See, but justification in the Bible means to be made righteous. So we have this huge debt because of our sin. We are in the the negative, and we could never buy ourselves out. But Jesus dying on the cross makes it to where we are justified. We are brought back to even. We are made righteous. We are now acceptable in God's sight or in God's eyes. So remember that... We have sinned against him. Okay, You have sinned against God. I have sinned against God. And therefore, we owe a debt that we could never ever pay. Jesus died on the cross and he took our sins upon himself. And when we accept him as Savior, we are imputed his righteousness. We talked about that yesterday. And when that happens, we are justified. We are made righteous or in a right standing with God once again. The simplest understanding of the word justification. Uh, it's, it's, it's an old saying. It's just as if I'd never sinned. Just as if I'd never sinned. So you're a sinner. You've sinned against God. But once you come to accept Christ, it's just as if you'd never sinned. It's just as if you'd never done anything wrong. You are now acceptable in the sight of God. So what this means for us? Well, uh, we have sinned against him and therefore uh, we owe a debt that we could never repay. um, And we are in trouble. Um, But uh, praise God that he brings us to that position or to that place uh, where we can be made right with God through Jesus Christ. Um, So, Remember the the legal term that I mentioned earlier? Um, It means a sufficient or acceptable excuse or explanation made in court for an act that is otherwise unlawful. So what is our excuse? What What is your excuse for the sins you've done? Well, the answer is we don't have one. Yet, God loves us and Jesus died. And when we accept him as our savior, there stands an advocate in our corner. A lawyer whose name is Jesus. And when we stand condemned to die because of our unrighteousness, he simply says to the father, this one is covered by my blood. This one has been justified in that I have made them right. Just as if they'd never sinned. So what should we do? First of all, make sure that you've been made right with God. Make sure that you've accepted Christ. If you haven't, you're not right with God. Listen, there's only one way to be made right with God, and that is through Jesus Christ. 
And if you know Christ as your Savior, and you know that you've been justified, you've been made righteous, live like you've been made right with God. Live in a manner, in a way that reflects that. Why, why would you continue in living uh, in a way that is practicing things that God calls sin? We should desire to live lives that reflect what Jesus has done for us. I'm reminded of this old invitational song. It goes like this. Have thine affections been nailed to the cross? Is thy heart right with God? Dost thou count all things for Jesus but loss? Is thy heart right with God? Is thy heart right with God? Washed in the crimson flood, cleansed and made holy, humble and lowly, right in the sight of God. Our gracious Father, I thank you so much that through Jesus that we could be made right with you and that we could have a relationship with you. God, if there's one watching today that doesn't have that relationship, that they've never accepted Jesus, God, I pray that they would get right with you by calling out to Jesus and being saved. God, uh, for those of us that know you, I pray that you would encourage us. I pray that you would strengthen us. I pray, Father, that we would live in a way that reflects the relationship we have with you, that others would see that there's something different about us, that we're not like the rest of the world because we've been made right in your sight and in your eyes. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.